Hello and welcome to the Quick Start Opening Balances General Ledger video tutorial for EasyLaw. The last opening balances to enter in a data conversion are your general ledger balances. These balances include your general bank accounts, loan accounts, capital accounts, and so on. To enter these balances accurately, you will need to refer to your trial balance from your previous accounting records. Ensure that it was printed immediately prior to your conversion so that the closing balance of your old accounting records exactly matches the opening balance of your new accounting records. Involve your accountant if you are unsure on how to enter these balances. Before proceeding, it is important to know that EasyLaw creates automatic journal entries when transactions are posted to clients. If you entered trust, accounts receivable, time, and or disbursements to clients, there will already be journal entries in your trial balance in EasyLaw that represent these transactions. I recommend that you post a journal entry to remove all of these entries so that you can start with a clean slate. To do this, print a trial balance as of your conversion date, selecting accounting, followed by GL reports. Next, go to the journal entries and still using your conversion date, reverse any balances that you see on your trial balance. Use your conversion date and use a description such as reverse automatic journal entries. To ensure that this is successful, view or print another trial balance as of your conversion date to ensure that your trial balance is zero. If you have accounting experience, you may not need to do this and you can simply post the missing transactions to your general ledger. It will be up to you as to how you proceed. Please note, however, that you will get control account warning messages which you can override at this time. Click Accounting followed by journal entries to proceed. Enter the date of your conversion. Enter the GL account number or press F5 to display a list to choose from. I recommend that you skip the reference number field. Enter the description of your journal entry. You can also press F5 to choose a code. Click Quick Fill option to create auto text that will automatically insert in the description field. Press the space bar after entering a Quick Fill code to display the auto text related to a code. Enter the transaction amount. To enter a negative amount, type a negative sign in front of the amount. Click or press Enter on Save. Continue entering journal entries until your entire trial balance has been entered. The total in the bottom right hand corner of the screen should display zero if you have entered everything correctly. Click post to finish. If you wish to continue with the quick start setup of EasyLaw, please select the quick start opening balances reports video tutorial next. 